Hey folks. Today I'm going to be changing the blade on my Logan mat cutter. This mat cutter is a model 3000 and the end of the blade has gone dull. So time to change it out. Alright, so what we want to do is on the back we can see this thumb screw. And we want to unscrew that all the way and that will allow the cutting arm to come up and give us better access to the blade. Push the arm up and then we have complete access to the blade. Simply now the blade clamping screw, unscrew that and I do unscrew it all the way just to get it out of the way and give me a little bit more room. Now this blade has been sitting in there for about five years. It hasn't been used for quite some time and just over time it does get a little bit jammed. So be very, very careful. That blade is still is sharp. Just slide it out. These blades are reversible. I have reversed them before. But once the end goes, there's nothing you can do and you won't get a clean cut on your mat. Now you can go to your framing supplier or on Amazon, there's the part numbers you need. Some blade number 270. And one thing I'm going to have a, a gripe about is the way that Logan packages those blades. They're very difficult to get out. And they could also do a little plastic container. Now simply slide the blade, the new one, back into the slot. There's no up and down movement. We can now get our clamping screw. And we just want to do that at a nice firm firmness. Don't over tighten. Alright. Make sure the blade goes all the way through. And now what we can do is we can put our stop screw on that all the way back in. And we're ready for our next framing job. Alright guys. There you go. How to change the blade on the Logan mat cutter. Thanks for watching. Share this video with your friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will catch you next time.